Hello from Elkhart, Indiana. This is John Taylor, the Museum Director at Elkhart, uh, Elkhart's Ethos Innovation Center with One Degree of Sky Time. So with COVID going on, our planetarium shows have been canceled, um, but um, we'll go virtually through some things today and, and uh, try to learn a little about the sky and have some fun together, uh, just exploring what there is out there. And so I am only gonna take one degree of time today. And, and what does that mean? That has to be, I think, our first lesson as we as we start to explore the sky. And to do this, I'm using Stellarium, which is a great program, uh, free online. Um, and if you don't have it, I say it's a great program to use. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up a few things here as far as the time. Let me move my face around a little bit. So we are near Elkhart here, but this will actually work, this little lesson works anywhere in the world and any day of the year actually is what we're, we're looking at. I'm gonna take back to our, our time right now because it is daytime here in Elkhart. And just looking at the sky, we have the sun and Venus is up here. Although I looked earlier through a telescope, I was a little disappointed trying to catch it during the day, but it's so far uh, gone in phase, it's just too faint to catch. But let's watch something. I'm going to put that uh, time adjuster here, uh, time of day adjuster, and we're just going to pull this across and watch how everything's moving, how the sun and Venus move right off to the west. And then here comes Jupiter and Saturn and the moon, kind of that same line, and there's Mars. There it is again. So what we have is this line in the sky which everything is moving across. Fancy name for this is called the ecliptic. It seems like it's attached to my uh, mouse for some reason right now. But as we um, rotate through the sky, through time, what we find is um, everything moves along this same line and at a nice steady rate. And what that rate is, oh, there's a little trick here. If you were to take your hand and put it next to the sun, so on the Venus side of the sun, Put the edge of your hand right there and just waited. Over a very long period of time, the sun would move to the other side of your hand. And that time is something I think everybody's kind of forgotten. That's an hour. Uh, funny thing, you do it for Venus, do it for Mars, anything along this ecliptic, this line in which all the planets and the sun and the moon travel. This even works for the moon. That You can just put your hand on one side and in an hour it will be on the other side. Um, so it's kind of nice for kind of an idea what time of day or how much time there is. I know um, my wife might ask me, do you have time to do a bike ride? And what I'm going to do is just kind of take a look, see at the sky and how many hands I have between the sun and the horizon over there on the west side. And um, if I have two hands, I've got two hours to ride the bike, three hands, three hours of daylight to get it done and such. So very easy little rule. Just use that hand of yours, stick it up. If you have small hands, you probably have small arms. If you have large hands, you probably have large arms. You know, you look at a clock and you see on an analog clock, you have your arms, the hour hand at the end of the arm of the hour arm, right? And you have the minute hand, but um, your hand is just an hour. It is an hour hand. Um, so something to look at tonight is you're out and you watch things moving, uh, catch where the moon is if it's up and, and just watch where it is and count how many hands you have the horizon. Come back in that time and see if it isn't gone. Um, so hmm, if you work that out, there's 360 degrees in a circle and 24 hours in this path around the Earth. You work that out, that's about 15 degrees to a hand, to an hour, or about four minutes to a degree. And that's about enough time to explain how this works. So I hope you have a great day. This is from Elkhart, Indiana, the Ethos Innovation Center. I'll try to come back with these little short little blips of astronomy in the future and kind of build on what we're learning. But in the meantime, I hope you are all having a, a great day and staying healthy. And until we meet again, um, have a great day.